Hi, this is Neil Chethik. I'm the author of Father Loss and also the executive editor of Open to Hope. I want to talk a tiny bit today about how to consider your grieving process if you are a man. There's a lot of um, uh, information out there that says you must cry in order to grieve. And um, I think with men that's particularly difficult because so many men have been um, sort of driven from their crying tears, so there's no tears really in their life. What I found was that about 40% of men do not cry after the death of their fathers, but what they do is they get active in their grieving. One really good example, a man who had lost his father, and his father was a, a wood shop, a woodworker, went into his father's wood shop, used his father's best wood to build the urn for his own father's ashes, and that was his way of grieving. Did not cry, didn't cry before, after, or during, but felt like during that process of creating that piece of uh, work with his father's materials, he began a grieving process. So think about how you could connect with your own father as you look to the grieving process for yourself.